There we go. So I'm going to ask you again, did you buy anything from those undercover police officers up there? Well, I actually give some money away to somebody. Oh, you did? OK. Yes, I did, to buy some food. That's a fat joint, if you call that one joint. I don't want him in jail. I want him to stay away from me. We're going to a call right now of an unwanted guest at a fast food restaurant. We're going to go and see what his problem is. Apparently, he doesn't want to leave after he's been told by the manager that he needs to leave. So we're going to go and check it out. 9897. What happened? Don't call me no bitch. No. What happened? No. no. What happened? Who's the manager? You just passed my door right You want him out? OK. Come on, they're closed. We got to go. Come no. on, let's go. No. You will. No, then you're going to go to jail for trespass. No. You are. All right? Don't worry about it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Put the other hand behind your back. Here we go. Look, if you don't comply, you're going to get no. hurt, OK? That's it. He's not going to comply. So we're just going to drag him out. You like On your feet. Ma, what? Ma, damn, man. You guys are out of, you're out of your mind. Get in the car. Get your feet in the car. Yes. Okay, what happened? He just came in because we have to close the door. The door was a way to close it. And then we asked him to leave, and he didn't want to leave. So okay. we, we had him come in, we gave him the food, and then we asked him to leave, then he didn't want to leave. So okay. we don't want to know no problems with him, so we just, you know. And he told him that you didn't want him here anymore, he didn't want to. Okay. He's gonna try and break out the window, so we're gonna put a hobble on him, so that way he doesn't pick it out. Stop resisting. Stop. Stop. Just let him put it on, okay? Stop resisting. It'll be over if you just let him do it. Just sit still. Can you get, no, I can't get it over the heel. All right, he's on. You're down. Take it. Relax, stop resisting. Zero. Oh. Zero. So we just get him for trespass after warning. And resisting. Yeah. Did you see what happened? This girl right here, over there, she huh? let it be. We told her that the lobby closed and the door was closed and she let him in. So he came inside and then he started acting stupid and then we, and we know he was drunk from start and then he come here and he pulled out a lot of money. So I guess probably he was coming from cheaters or something. He had a lot of money. And he asked for us for a grilling platter. And we just gave it to him and he stand right there, start eating it and he didn't want to leave. So I kept on telling him, go, go, go. So the manager came and talked to him and he said that, um, if he not gonna go, he told me to call police, so I called the officer. Oh, he just drunk, he, but he wasn't acting stupid like he drunk and would do something like mess around with nothing. We just wanted him to leave. No. And what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Do you know your name? Are you gonna beat me? No, I'm not gonna beat you. Do you understand why we had to take you out like that? No. Okay, you seem to be very intoxicated. Okay. I am. Okay. I'm sorry. When people ask I you am. to leave, I'm sorry. you have to I leave. I'm so sorry. Okay, what's your name? Craig. Craig. Okay, right now you're going to go to jail for trespass after warning. Do you understand? Okay. What I, happened inside the store? Do you understand? I understand do you. Do you understand? Do you understand that we had to arrest you for trespass after warning? Okay. If you tell me what happened, I then I can get okay. your side of the story. All right. Okay, what happened? I'm sorry. All right. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, well, he's going to go to jail. Get out of the car. Being arrested for a purchase of cocaine, I'm going to ask you again, did you buy anything from those undercover police officers? Okay. Yes, I did. Buy some food. Mm.
Today's operation is going to be a drug reversal. We'll be targeting buyers. We've got our uh, five undercovers. We will have two surveillance vehicles out watching you. We're going to do this until the sun goes down, so let's try to be productive and uh, get as many bad guys as we can in jail. All right, let's do it. We're across the street from the target location where we have a good view of our officers. All right, we got one. It's a small white or silver car on the north side of the store. I can't see it from where I'm at. They get a signal? Yeah, all right, they gave it the signal. Go on in. Just to the west of the uh, F-150 in Maroon. That's it. Put it in park. Put it in park. There you go. What's your name, man? Francis. What are you doing up here, Francis? Just came up here to see some of Well, why do you have this? I had it with me. You had it with you? What if I told you those were undercover officers? Did you buy it from them? Yeah, I gave them money for it, yeah. Okay. So you bought it from them? Mm-hmm. Okay. You ever been arrested before for anything? No. Okay. Right now you're under arrest, okay? And we're going to transport you to the station. We're going to talk to you there, okay? Do me a favor and go have a seat in the car. We'll get you out of here, okay? Do you have anything on you, Mr. Francis, we need to know about? All right, good job. Let's get back at it. All right, guys, we got another one. We got a uh, white male and a white Honda. It looks like an Accord just pulled up. We're getting some crack. North side of the building. All right, it's a white, sea, white Accord southbound on Seacrest. Time for we got him. Turn around, face the car. Put your hands on the car. Up top. Just drop it in my hand. Just drop it in my hand. Just drop it in my hand. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I got it. Stand him right there. What's this stuff? Uh, nothing. This is wax. It's nothing. Uh -huh. Who'd you buy it from? I didn't buy it. You didn't buy it. Where'd you get it? How'd it get in your hand? I mean, it was just, it was just in a bag, and I, I just picked it up. You picked it up where? Yeah. I thought, I mean, that it might be drugs, but it's not. What do you think it might be, then? Huh? What type of drugs do you think it might I don't, be? I mean, probably uh, cocaine or something, but I mean, I don't do it or anything Well, what if like I that, told so. you those, uh, the person that you bought it from at the store right there was an undercover yeah. police officer? Would that change your story? I mean, I didn't buy it. You didn't buy it? No, sir. Well, obviously, you're lying, because I'm telling you right now, it was okay. an undercover officer. Tried to crumble it up and throw it down. He just couldn't get rid of it fast enough. All right, let's get him out of here. Go uh, they flagged down a car. All right, it's a go. It's a go. On the south side of the store, it looks like a Saturn, dark colored. Hey, Phil, get ready to box him in in case he goes. Turn the car off! Turn the car off! Get out of the car! Put him on the hood. You got two you got three police cars behind you, lights and sirens going. Why didn't you stop? What are you doing up there? I'm, I'm always over here. Yeah? I've actually been looking for tools that got stolen from my shop. Yeah? Is that where you were at the store? I've been to that store many times. Yeah? Yep. Did you buy anything up there? No, sir. No? Nope. You didn't talk to any black guys up there? Yeah, I talk to black guys up there all the time. Mm. Would you be interested to know that they're undercover police officers? All right. No? So I'm going to ask you again, did you buy anything from those undercover police officers up there? Well, I actually give some money away to somebody. Oh, you did? OK. Yes, I did, to buy some food. Mm. OK. Yes, I did. Well, here's the deal. You're being arrested for a purchase of cocaine. All right. Call set. And we're going to take you down to the station and process right. you. All right. So go ahead and get him out of here. I see marijuana all over your shirt. There's a little bit on my shirt, but I believe it's tobacco. You think I was born yesterday? Yeah. Tobacco is brown, marijuana is green. We saw this car. The driver looked really nervous when he saw us. Kind of sparked my curiosity a little bit, and he failed to signal his lane change while turning into the parking lot here. So we're going to make a stop on it real quick and find out, make contact, find out uh, what's going on. Five, 
There you go. Okay, go and sit by the car. Turn around. Nice car. Come back over here. What are you doing with all the what are you doing with all the dope? What dope? The marijuana that's all over your shirt and your pot that when I walked up, it smells like dope in there. I walk up and you got it all over your clothes as if you're trying to break it up and put it under your seats. No, 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 no. No, 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 that ain't it. They search my pockets. Uh, I'm already gonna search the car. You got marijuana on your shirt. All right, come back here. I'm gonna put you in my car for now. Okay, you're being detained right now, all right? Hang tight. Okay, let's step out. Place the car. Back up over here. I'm gonna be detained right now, all right? It's for my safety to figure out what's up. Okay, I already know there's marijuana. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, was somebody eating it or what? What do you mean somebody eating it? What were y'all doing with the marijuana? You just breaking it up, trying to trash it? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? You, you have no idea I what I'm talking about. No, I don't. So, you think I was born yesterday and this is what I do every day and no, you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You got any ID on you? No, I don't. No ID? Okay. Okay, I don't know who he is yet. I gotta do all that. Stand up while you're talking to him and face that way. Tell me about the marijuana he had all over him. Who? The driver. I, he's the one that picked me up. I just got in the car, ma'am. I do not know anything So you didn't about... see what he was doing? No, ma'am. I'm not me... going to sit here and lie to you. I just got in the car, ma'am. Why would I lie to you if I'm on probation? I just... Hey, hey, hey listen, listen, listen. This is the deal. You're in the back seat. You can mm -hmm. clearly see the front driver, okay? I'm walking up, and he is all over the back seat, and down here, I'm he's sorry, got marijuana. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just went... I just went to uh, so swim. You're lying. That's okay. You're lying to my No, ma'am, I would not lie to you. I just went swimming. He All picked right. me up. Look, my drawers are even still wet. Okay, uh, come yeah. with me. Maybe it was a bad idea to give me a car with you going. Probably so. For right now, you're not under arrest. You're just being detained. Oh, okay, fine. All right? Fine. Hang tight. I'd like to be interested in seeing what the driver threw. He threw something. As I'm walking up the car, the driver's making all kinds of furtive movements. He's reaching around. Here it is, right here. Here we go. Marijuana. When I walk up to the car, he's got all these marijuana flakes all over his shirt. So I just pull him out of the car. And um, of course, then the other two passengers in the vehicle know nothing, although they're sitting right by him. And I'm sure I heard him totally freaking out. This is one of the dirtiest cars I've seen. I'm finding buds, and I'm finding uh, all kinds of trash everywhere. And, uh, and I found a thong laying over here. No one knows how long that's been there. And this is the dirtiest car. I'm going to go home and take a bath. OK, Samuel, step out here so we can talk about it, OK? Stand right there at the back of the car. So I want to show you everything that was that was out here, that yeah, we found in the car, see, OK? Yeah, OK, when I look in the car, I see marijuana all over your shirt, OK? Yeah. Which I believe I mean, you was know, tobacco from my cigarettes, because I was pulling out a cigarette. Tobacco from your cigarettes? You tobacco know, is brown, marijuana is I mean, green. There's a little bit on my shirt left. I, I believe it's tobacco. But that's besides the point. Okay. So anyway, so at that point, and the fact that I can smell the distinct odor of marijuana in the car, right. on top of the fact right. it does not smell like tobacco, because tobacco does not smell like marijuana. Exactly. Okay. I pull you out of the car, and now here we are. We're searching the car. Okay. Probable right. cause. So okay. So this is what happened. This is what we found. A joint. That's a fat joint. joint. If you call that one joint. That's the way we roll them. That's one joint. That's a joint. That might that's be one joint. cigar joint. <laughs> I'll take the citation for that. I'll take blame for it since I'm driving it, you know what I mean? But I mean, I'll take the citation for that, because okay, I mean. That's that's not a citation. Do you remember what I said? Yeah, I heard In you. In Texas, the law I, is a I class B. That misdemeanor. Under an ounce is a citation. That's not even five grams. Class B misdemeanor. So I have to go downtown. It's not a takeable offense. He's 47 years old and runs to mama when he gets in trouble. You you always try to put him in jail. No, All the time. I don't want him in jail. Yeah, okay. I want him to stay away hey, from me. Hey, we just got dispatched to a call. It's going to be a uh, domestic disturbance. Looks like uh, the female's calling in. The male assaulted her. Uh, now it's saying that the male possibly left the apartment. We're going to arrive here and, and find out what's going on here. She, she's walking over there. She... He took off that way. OK, does his I'll... mom live around here somewhere? Yes, she does. Where does she live? She lives in the downstairs apartment in that building. Do you think maybe he went running to mama? I don't know. That's where he usually goes. I was going to go get a beer for me and Charlie, and I had went to the store. Charlie 315. I've got her over here across the street. And I was walking through the, the alleyway right here on the side, 
Uh -huh. And uh, I saw him sitting in the front. When I got here, he chased me all through the parking lot. Okay. He threw me up against this building and this other building. And then when I got to the stairs, he threw me in the stairs real hard after he grabbed all the beer and, and everything. Okay. I hit my head and I hit there and I hit all right here. This guy, what is he to you? He's my husband. Does he live here with you? He was living here with me, yes. Okay. But we're, he's, uh, he's already got an assault charge on him against me. Okay. And I'm just tired of the abuse. I've taken okay. him back and taken him back, and that's okay. my fault. Okay. Charlie 315, we're going to be at the uh, apartment. City police, ma'am. Can you open the door, please? We talk to you. Hello. It's us, ma'am. Yes. It's, it's the police. I'm not lying to you. How you doing, ma'am? Fine, thank you. Do, do you have a son named John? Yes. He's asleep? To him. He's asleep right now? Yeah. Okay, I need to talk to him. What happened? Okay. Well, I, I need to talk to him. Where, where is he asleep? Johnny, you need to wake up, bro. What did he do? Stand up, man. Yeah, what happened with you and your wife tonight, John? He's bipolar, schizophrenic, and no alcohol is supposed to be in her system. Okay, all right. And she takes in, she likes to fight. That's okay. the bottom line. Okay. That's the bottom line. And then, and then what happened? She fights with me. What, what, did, what did she do to you? Did she hit you? Did she yes. jump on your yeah. back? Did she no. pull your hair? What choke you? What'd she do? She pulls on my hair and she fights with me all the okay, time. Okay, so she pulled your hair and she fought with you. Yes. Okay. Then what happened? Then I just I don't want to talk to her. Anymore. Okay. And then what what did you do? What did you decide? I, I came over here. That's it. What happened to your foot right there? Why is it bleeding? It's... Are you running without shoes on or something? No, no, no. It's not. Hey, I'll, I'll talk to you. I know. Then. I don't know. She's oh, over here putting a salt charge or something. I don't know. Where, where do you live, John? Evidently, he's saying that she's been drinking. He's probably been drinking also. Yes. They got into it. Uh, he claims but every time that, that... she does this, every time she's... The other day, he came all beaten up when she beat him up. And now... And now she calls the police. Okay. She wants to see him in jail I, I, all the time. I understand, but if she's beating him up, he needs to call us. You said you had another charge pending on you, ma'am? Assault again. Assault again? Yeah. Who did you assault that yeah, time? Right, John. Who do you think? Who do I think? Your wife? Yeah. Watch your head. It's always the same old thing. She wants to get back together and then it fights again. Okay. That's all. So you guys are broken up? You're trying to get back together? I don't want to get back together. Tell me your side. I don't want to talk no more. OK. Thank you. He was saying that y'all were trying to work things out again. We were trying to work things out. And then uh, three nights ago, I was upstairs. And uh, we got into a little tangle there. And I don't want this to keep continuing. Oh, but I can't help yeah. it. I live here, and I can't afford to okay. move. The only thing we can do is take him to jail tonight. OK, but tomorrow's a new day. Y'all are still married. If, if you want any long-term solutions, then you're going to have to take the bull by the horns which means apply for a protective order, file charges on them, and if that's it, you don't want to try to make this work, then follow through and file for a divorce, OK? What did he do to you today? He chased me, Mom, from I was coming from the store. Yeah, and day before yesterday, you hit him. He came with his chick like Mom, that. Mom, he hit me, too. No, he didn't no, have to chase me. No, you're tr you, you always try to put him in jail. No, Mom. All the time. I don't want him in jail. Ma I want him to stay hey, away from me. Hey, that's it. Ma'am, it's, it's, it's not going to do you any good. It's not going to do you any good. I just go upstairs. She always blames me. She doesn't see. No, I'm not blaming She doesn't see. I'm not blaming you. She's not beaten up. Where's she beaten up? She's hurt. She's claiming he threw her down on the steps there. Johnny, don't do this no more. Stop it, and we're done. You even told me that. And now your mom's blaming me, and that's wrong. It's probably more likely back and forth, but tonight, he was the aggressor. He's 47 years old and runs to mama, and he gets in trouble. Ah.